The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 35. You get the NASDAQ down 12. S&Ps are up 2.5. Gold contract trading up by $3.70 at 12.67.90 an ounce. We have silver up 11 cents, $16.26 an ounce. Platinum, where are you, Platinum? Platinum's flat, 913 uh, an ounce. You get the light sweet crude market up 18 cents, $57.74. Uh, and uh, it's a Wednesday already, right? API numbers this morning? Yeah. API last night, EIA this EIA morning. this morning, unreal. What's happening? There's some volatility going on in the market, man. There, there well, is. I thought it was just smooth sailing creeping up as we come into the holiday, no? Well, That's not the case, you know, huh? you know, you had out here not this quite. morning too, folks, okay? Uh, you had Asia down last night, Europe was down this morning, yet our futures, if you're out here early, uh, the S&Ps are up at 10 and a half. Which yeah, was that was up about 100, right? Right. Yeah. You get the 10-year note uh, down five ticks, 123.13, 30-year bond off 19, 150.29, King Dollar, King Dollar still uh, selling King Dollar, down 62 ticks, 92.965, the euro is trading at 118 and a half to the U.S. dollar, yen's at 113 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. And how about Bitcoin before we jump over, man? You want some yeah. volatility, right? So yeah. check out, uh, there it is. So right now, Bitcoin 17,030. We're below 16,000 as of last, last night, night um, which is a far cry from the 198. So we really went from 20,000 to 16,000. Pretty remarkable. I should have stayed up all night, man. You should. What, what, what are you sleeping Something for, man? Wrong we got, we got me, back to back three day weekends coming up with Christmas, New Year's. <laughs> that, um, that should be enough sleep for the next year. So that's remarkable on the Bitcoin yeah. front of things. And then just real quick, I know we got our man Kevin Hinks. We'll jump over, talking volatility, of yeah. course. But Bitcoin Cash, right? How about that? New highs, 3,772. Okay. Coinbase saying they're going to offer Bitcoin Cash. Yeah. That, of course, huge spike. Opportunity for demand. We were talking right. about Coinbase yesterday. But then they had to shut it down because there were allegations of insider trading because the, sp the price spiked. Before anybody even like knew, seventeen hundred dollars or something. Right? It, I don't. Whatever it was, yeah. I was reading the articles. Right. It spiked many hours before the announcement was made, and it's like, well, the only reason that's happening, it's just like option traders that get caught insider trading. You know, I mean, you see those volumes come in. There's no way to explain it. But like we say, wild, wild west. For I wonder sure. if that's going to be inside Coinbase. Wonder. That's that's what the that's the only place it would be because that's, that's the only company that announced it. I know. That's that's literally this. Is, it almost harkens back to, I'm thinking of the. Uh, and that, it's not even a regulated exchange, so I wonder if it's even. Uh, is it illegal or not? Yeah, right. right. I, I, don't I don't know. You know. Either way, I think for their right, their own business, they don't want that to come out. Yeah. Right. That's you know. It's too late now. It is too late. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim, and don't forget, folks, every trading day right here. You want to understand the option market upside down. Understand strategies, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, great program. You want to understand the future market. The real kicker here, folks, is that, you know, we're all going to be trading Bitcoin whether we like it or not. If you're a trader, it's going to happen. I can just feel it. You know, it might be six months well, from now. They have futures you know, now. So it's they not, have futures. And yeah. guess what? They're going to have options on futures exactly. because the, the market in the futures is... It's it's finding price. It's getting closer yes. and closer. More you know? participants will find that price. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everything going? It's going good, man. I mean, you know, we're kicking into the end of the year. You figure what we got, you know, as you said, I mean, realistically, last Friday, that was the last option expiration. That's really almost the end of the year. Hey, I mean, if we right. see 100 point Dow moves in five minutes, that everyone, they can't leave the desk just, just yet. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you know. yeah but I mean, uh, you know, you're, you're getting, you know, make no mistake, you're still getting some moves. You're just not getting them on as big a volume as you normally do. And, and they, you know, what happens is some of these moves, like you're seeing in the E minis r r right now, right? Yeah. They were up 875, nine bucks. Now they're kind of drifting back down. There's just no follow through. Although, you are getting some follow through in the 30 year bond this morning. Oh, my God. I'm Another telling. big move in the 30 year bond. Tom, O'Brien, Tommy, we are looking at a 2.5 10 year yield coming to a exchange near you yeah. soon. 
Yeah. Now, there's, listen, there's no doubt, man. I, mean, I don't accept 2.5. I only accept 2.0. No. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> and look, well, here he is, 2.486 right now. To the to the, exactly. the, 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 the definitive high in the last three months, for yeah. sure, to, to, yeah. the, to the literally thousandth of a penny. Yeah. High of six months, and is it? Close to the high of the year. Yeah. Okay, 12 months, yeah. And we just had another hot housing number come out, existing home sales, up 5.6% month over month right another hot number in the housing market and you know they what's going to happen here in this new tax bill the the multiple units and this is not just the the big apartment owners folks if you own a, a multiple unit to say it well actually you could own just a single family if you rent it out it's going to be uh it might take kevin is it real estate's going to keep going because the new pass through that you can basically everyone in real estate business have passed through but the difference is is that now you're going to be able to depreciate the pass through and when real estate's going up you're actually going to be able to depreciate it so it's a great it, i mean it's 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 almost like a no brainer do you know what i'm right. saying that that yeah, it puts from, from you know here's what it is tom and you know this as well as i do we all we want is for people to set the rules yep and for us, try to figure out how to get around them. Totally, yeah. Right? Yeah. Isn't that isn't that what this business is basically? Oh, it's you set up the rules. I'll find a way to make money and do business around or near those rules. You know what I'm so psyched about, Kevin, <laughs> is that the last time this happened, uh, and and this bigger deal, it was in '86, and yeah. you know I was in the market, but not like now. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, and. Understanding it, it's pretty intense, man, because it's right. intense when the, when the aspect of how much can be saved, particularly, folks, when you're talking about a non-cash depreciation, that's that's what you want. You want a non-cash depreciation going against your taxes because it's a mind blower. It's, yeah. it's, just, it's, it's nice taking in cash and then set, offsetting it with losses in that is non cash it's, that are actually going up. Everyone loves there's cash. A lot, exactly. There's a lot of things. And what, what I see, Tom... What I'm seeing today, like in the FedEx conference call, yeah, FedEx just blew earnings away. Their conference call, what they talk about, we have room next year on the upside because of taxes. Yep. Oh, so yeah. They're, they're talking. What you're going to start seeing next quarter, remember, we're only two weeks away from uh, earnings season again. Right. You're going to see companies start talking about tax reform and their taxes going forward. And at 17%. When you, you know, what I'm saying, yep. where the 17% comes from, folks, that's what the effective rate could be for a lot of these companies, meaning right. cash coming right to the bottom line. So, yeah, the, uh, and, you know, I, I guess what our job is going to be, you know, going forward right here, too, is to find out, you know, once we really see what's in that tax bill as to what companies are going to benefit. Like, as soon well, as I really figure this right? out, yeah, it says, okay, the REIT's going to benefit. I'm not sure about the REITs because that gets passed through anyway. Um, but there's going to be companies out there, man. Definitely, you know, yeah, no doubt. Right, it's going to be it's going to be fascinating. But it just amazes me how someone can try to sell this like Americans aren't going to have more money in their pocket. Right, and people telling people they're not going to have more money in their pocket, they're going to. And so how this and the stock market is telling you that they're going to even today. Right, you've got the Dow up, you've got the E mini basically up three, up small, yep. and you got the Nasdaq down. So they're not sellers. All they're doing is rotating here. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't think there's yeah. going to be any sellers in the end no, of the year here. I don't think so either. Tom. <laughs> That's a look at man. Hasn't been all year. It's not <laughs> going to start yeah, now. Exactly right. right. Totally. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to understand the option market upside down in the futures market, just go to T, uh, TFNN, hit Tiger TV. Kevin, have a great one to say for and look forward to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Larry Kevin. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. Out, and throughout the week when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information.
information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 40. You get the Nasdaq down 13. S&Ps are up 2. Uh, if we go... We got... Uh, We're hearing something there, John, coming through. I don't know what sliders. There we go. If we go uh, inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness. Uh, United Health uh, is up, uh, putting 16 positive points. You put, Boeing's putting 13. Goldman's putting 9. Taken away from it, you have Disney taking away eight, McDonald's six, Microsoft five, inside the NDX 100. Movers out here, you got Micron up 3%, uh, Biogen's up two, Lamb Research is up 1.7. Uh, taken away from it, uh, I can't pronounce this one. Uh, Mercado Libre. Right? Mercado Libre, that's down 4% uh, or 13 bucks. You got Liberty off 2.6, and you got JD.com down 2.2. The, um, one second, we go. We got some of that. Oh, look who we have. Oh, I love it. Let's go to our man Paul in San Jose. Paul, what's going on? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing? I don't Good. think Paul has slept yet. He must have been up all night trading Bitcoin. Totally. Cash. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need your fill every day now, man. <laughs> we got to get this thing going. It is incredible. I can't believe what, uh, man. The uh, cryptos are just going nuts. So Litecoin um, kind of fell apart after that Bitcoin Cash news came out. Oh, did it? And 
Tommy, I didn't hear what you were talking about. So apparently there was some sort of maybe insider buying going on with that. Yeah, so that was why. They, so I was reading an article this morning. So um, it seems like the, the first story, of course, was that Coinbase was going to offer Bitcoin Cash, which, of course, was going to put demand in there. So that yeah. was a spike. But then the news story came out, and I was reading it this morning, so I don't know the time frames of when this all came down. But it had to do with then everybody said, hold on, Bitcoin Cash started spiking hours before Coinbase announced that. Right. The only people that knew that were anybody in Coinbase are employees in Coinbase, insider trading their own, and to be the biggest exchange right. where, you know, you could offer what's next, you know, what's the next yeah. cryptocurrency to be on there, and then they jump the gun and they're, they're front-loading, you yeah. know, bids and offers. Yeah, and right. So, yeah, so what, and then I think what they did, Paul, is that they paused it because of that. And they said, we're still going to offer it, but then they had to do with some period of uh, a pullback because they said, you know, we're going to give it like 24 hours to look into, make sure everything's okay and bring it back up online. Um, so that caused some volatility, but still. So, um, and this is, let's, let's see. So where was, uh, is so this is, this is, uh, yeah, what did I just pull up here? Yeah, this is Litecoin that we're looking at. Okay. So 314, right? But yeah, I see a spike down there to 275, wow. 7 o'clock yeah. last night. Um, and that probably was because Litecoin is one of the ones offered on Coinbase as well, right, Paul? It is, it yeah. is. But Litecoin, um, it's still traded very technical. It did pretty much an exact 78% uh, retracement of that move down. Um, so I took profits there, but I had no idea about this news, and it, it got really volatile there for a couple hours. And it would what make was a trip is on GDAX, they still have it listed Bitcoin Cash at 9500 so it opened at 34. For whatever really? reason, it went all the way up to 9,500, and it's still oh priced God. at 9,500 on GDAC. That's so, crazy. So what's interesting is I saw that number quoted in in the news article I read this morning, and I wonder if that's actively trading or if that's maybe a stop point for I'm not sure. You because know, we this got, is Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, 37.72, 36.12. It's currently at right now. Can you buy it like that, Paul? We, we, and we get the we get the you know the. The we're on the Crypto Watch site, yeah. and we're looking at it. Um, so this is the Bitfinex. I can see what quote that's giving us in terms of the 3605. Yeah, I'm not sure myself, Paul. It's like it's pretty amazing that on a daily basis you're almost reminded how it is the wild, wild west in terms of, you know, stories like this that come out, you know, oh, they're launching one cryptocurrency in the biggest exchange. Oh, guess what? There might have been insider trading. Oh, guess what? We're bringing it down for 24 hours, right? And Which then, means nothing, really. You know, I, I don't know, right? You don't, <laughs> it's, it's, but that's where information is not on an equal platform right now because everything is so unregulated, right. for sure. Um, and, and with the, on the, the stock side of it, people got to be really careful because I trade momentum stocks in the morning for the first hour and I wake up, I look at the stocks that are gapping up with volume. And I try to put a case together to see if I could take a trade. If you guys look at this NETE this morning, this was the leading gapper on my on my scan. This thing is up was up two hundred and fifty percent or oh, something geez. crazy. Looks like it's up and, about uh, 60, 65. Buy open and now they're probably getting you know taking the cleaners here. That's net it. element. Yeah, I mean wow. So, so this went from it opened at seventeen dollars and eighty cents. It goes to twenty four ninety eight. It closed yesterday at five. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. And all it's, the headline says is they're, they're going to do something with blockchain. Everyone gets excited, and people are probably uh, you know all right. That's their it. Shares T that putting fight. out a press release. We're, we're doing Seriously. blockchain in two thousand eighteen, and we're doing an ICO. Everyone buy it. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, I'm in the TFNN ICO. Let there you go, so man. Focused, man. It's pretty just, amazing me, what a, a yeah. small story does to these stocks right now. It is. Okay, so as a technology group in mobile commerce, payment process, as well as entertainment and cultural internet destinations in Russia and other emerging markets. Net owns and operates a mobile commerce company as well as several internet properties that create social and business communities in the entertainment, music, motorsports and film industry. Okay, so we have no idea what they do. Right. <laughs> exactly. No, seriously, right? man. Yeah. Um, shares of mobile payment company Net Elements soared more than 300% after their company announced blockchain focused subsidiary. The Miami based company said in a press release that it partnered with Bunker Capital for a new business unit which is expected to become decentralized, crypto based ecosystem that will act as a framework for, for unlimited number of value added services. This is pretty sick, man. You can, just, you can just say anything. But that's, that's, listen, that's, you know, you know what's amazing here? That there's a whole generation, well, you never saw it. You, I mean, you weren't around uh, 
from 96 to 98, right? When I was still in high school. I, was, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that. Is this so, dot com 2.0 on it steroids? It is. So this is what used to happen then. Now, check this out. This is how bizarre this was. That someone would come out like that, right? And the stocks would go up 100 or $200 at a time. Oh, yeah? Right. Yeah. So wow. it was insane. There's, there's no doubt that uh, the bottom, the bottom line is that I, I remember. Uh, do you remember the company yeah. Ask Jeeves? Do you remember? Yeah. It was Ask? It oh was, my God. Was, I mean, that was like a Google, you know, where you right. could like type in normal things, where you could ask Jeeves, ask right. you know, so you Google in normal English. I remember that company just shooting through the moon. It's like, has anybody been to Ask Jeeves lately? You know, it's, it's no, just no, there no, were a million totally. of them at the time, <laughs> but was. that one was there one was. that stuck out. Um, because was. Google was kind of already coming into fruition, all that stuff. But man, the stories that got told and right. You know, if you cashed out at the right time, for sure. Right. Yeah. You know, there's an article today. Let me see if I can find this quick. There's an article today, and what it's about is it's about uh, Bitcoin uh, versus Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum. Ethereum. And, and, and is that the, uh, when, what had happened is that uh, Netscape was first, and then, you know, Google came in, and that, you know, Google sure. so came you had in. Chrome. With, yeah, and came You're in. talking about browsers, yeah. The browsers. Well, right. it came in with the better technology. And overtook, you know, uh, let's see. This, we're only back to 9 o'clock there, okay. so I know it was before. Uh, and what it had to do, you tried to send me the article. It has to do with the smaller cryptocurrencies overtaking yeah, the original. Right, we'll right. take a look. We'll see if we can find it during the break. Paul, stay right there. We're going to come back. We're going to have Frank from okay. New Jersey, uh, and he's calling about uh, Bitcoin, surprise, too. Surprise, surprise. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now. They are trading um, up 21, NASDAQ is down 17, S&P's are flat. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with uh, Paul from San Jose. We are talking uh, cryptocurrencies. We're going to go to Frank uh, next. So, um, you know, I guess the real question is going to be, is that uh, Bitcoin Cash, are you going to be trading that? Are you going to be, you know, what, what were you trading? Was it, was it Bitcoin Lite you were trading last night? Litecoin. Right? Litecoin. Do we have Paul still? Hello? Let's go to Frank then. Hello? Frank, what? you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. How are we doing, man? Good. Uh, Tommy, thank you very much for the heads up on the credit card deal with Coinbase. It's, uh, it was really a pretty reasonable rate. Was it? Okay, because I, I was saying to Tom I, that it's, I had to look into it's it like as three, well. It's 3.99, okay. which is the lowest I've seen. Nice. No, that's good to know myself, you know, because you don't know percentages sometimes, and I'm never in there buying $10,000, you know, so it's not something if it's four or 500 right. percentage-wise. Right. And I kind of like the fact that they don't have my bank account because in the yeah. same way, you know, I mean, it's just I, I enjoy the fact because I'm not trading heavy volumes, 4%, but that's that's. Thank you for telling me even, because that's good to know on my own. I said after the fact, I have to look into that, because right. percentage-wise, as Bitcoin keeps creeping, man, it's, they go up for sure. Actually, there's uh, one other interesting thing about Bitcoin Cash. Uh, the fork happened in, uh, the Bitcoin Cash fork happened in, for anybody holding Bitcoin as of August the 1st. Okay. But Coinbase didn't issue anyone any Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, and that's where you're at. Until yesterday. Oh, oh, they did really? it yesterday, too. Okay. And they don't now, even have happened, to do they, it. They right? immediately issued an equal amount of Bitcoin cash for every Bitcoin that was owned. And they're not required to do that, though, Frank, right? Are they? I don't think so. Well, every other exchange did. So uh, <laughs> if they didn't, uh, there'd be a lot of lawsuits. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're required to, though. You know, and that's where if we're having conversations with John Jameson, we're going to bring him back. He's knows a ton about this. Maybe we'll have to see. I know he's in the States right now traveling. Okay. Um, but when he explained it, you know, to me too, he was saying that you are kind of at the whim of the exchanges when these types of forks take place. And the only way that you can guarantee is if you possess your Bitcoin yourself. So, um, and, well, and I even get confused in, in, in what exactly that means, whether it's in your own wallet, whether it's printed off. But that's where you do have full control um, for anybody out there. If you're worried about those types of splits, forks, where you want to make sure, you can make sure if you actually possess the, yeah, the Bitcoin. Yeah, you know, they had, there's an, an there was an article yesterday about the Winklevoss twins, right? Winklevoss, yep. That the way that they protect their, that they actually have printed theirs off, right, yeah. and separated them and have them in all safety, different safety deposit boxes so that one, if one gets stolen, right, yep. you can't put them, you have to need all five of them. Nice. And that's how they're doing the Gemini exchange also. Okay. That's what they, that's, okay. so that's pretty intense, just understanding how, how does that work, okay? Yeah. Is, is it, the article was saying that they print them off, they separate them, put them in safety deposit boxes so you have to link them back up. Okay. You know, and it's like, if that's the case, why isn't everyone doing that? Oh, it's you technology, know? it's not yeah. easy. No, I don't, I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, no, I that's don't, I'm I don't saying, either. That's I'm just saying that it's so safe. I mean, like last night, the, the Korean place got taken yeah, down Yeah, there was an exchange night. in you know? South Korea that, yeah. yeah but so, it is because, I mean, if you asked Ellie... Cold, yeah, there's cold wallet players. That's what they call it, a cold sure. wallet. Yeah, and that is where you can print it off. Um, but you say, why don't people do that? Why doesn't Ellie do that? She doesn't right. have no idea to do it. She right. pulls up Coinbase, right. and she has it on her phone. That's right. why. I mean, right. it's barriers to entry. That's where right. all of this is taking place. That's why there's these opportunities. It's because it's not easy. It's right. not even easy to be in the Bitcoin agenda yet. You have a lot of people saying, ah, I'm not getting into that, getting into that. There's risks. There's that. With risks comes possible reward. With possible reward yeah. comes possible risks, right? There you As go. we're doing this, look at this. is a pretty amazing. The, the CBOE and the CME, exact same last trade. Every yeah. day that's getting closer. You know what's interesting, too? We were looking. So yesterday, they were right on 
par. Yeah, they're pretty close because CME's five contracts. Right. So it's about 2,500, but SIBO doing more volume than yeah. the CME, which is interesting. It People is. would have expected probably CME to be the driver in volume oh, there. Oh, for sure, man. Yeah. See that first, first player, you got to watch out. I got an interesting coin for you guys. Okay. I actually picked up a coin called Verge. Verge. Verge, huh? It's about, it's about a, uh, I got about a month ago for one half of one cent. <laughs> New I definition of penny it. stocks. And what's it worth now? Uh, 15 cents. Oh, my God. 30 bagger. That's sick. That is. What, and, what, and what does that do? Uh, it's, it's a privacy coin. Okay. It's a what? It's privacy. untraceable. I mean, you've got, you've got a number of privacy coins. Monero's one, Dash. And what does a privacy e coin mean? It means it's, the, it's not a blockchain that can be traced. Okay. Okay. Normally, uh, when, you, when you're part of the Bitcoin blockchain or Ethereum blockchain, yeah. you could see all the transactions. Yeah. So technically, someone could see everything you did. Okay. If they know who you are. Yeah. yeah. If they have, like, your wallet key, right? right? They can see what you've done with that. Right. Or, right. And so the oh, way that... you've got the private, private key and a public key. Okay. The public key is the one that just about anybody can see. Okay. So the public key has, basically, they can follow your tracks as to what you've done. Yeah. Right. So. Correct. The way that you'd make money on the CD to sell it right now or sell in the future and you just hope that someone else is going to pay more money, right? Pretty much. Yeah, right. Okay. Same with socks, man. I'm sorry, what? We're even, we're even $15. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, hopefully, oh man. God. Why not? Three. Yeah. Oh my because half, because oh my you, half a penny, I, I like it. No, and I can, I, I, you know, you can conceive that these will be worth fifteen, twenty dollars. It's pretty easy. I everything's mean, it's like, ar everything's arbitrary. Cause, yeah, because it it's is. like, okay, you know, the people that missed the the, the big one right. say, okay, hey, I'll take fifteen bucks. You know, here, here's a hundred bucks. Here's right. ten bucks. Here's a thousand dollars. Whatever that is. And as uh, Actually, there is one thing staying in the way of some of these prices. It's the circulating supply. If you go to Coin Market Cap, it actually shows you what the circulating supply is. Okay. The lower, the better. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that. Bitcoin's about 16 million, and the Verge is like 22 billion. Yeah, there you go. And uh, what I and then that's a, that's a classic pump and dump. <laughs> yeah, and then can just more get produced? That's always what I worry. Not worry, wonder as you hear. You know, can they just keep producing them, et cetera? No, the it's, one a, it's a finite supply. Is it okay? Because that's you know some of the it's it's the one. Attractive quality of Bitcoin, one of many, is that it's so finite. Yeah, you know, right. no matter what, right. it can't you can't be diluted um, with more Bitcoins. You can but actually, it's, if they don't get their act together, I think it's, Bitcoin's not going to be around much longer. Oh yeah, no, they, there's they, no... Got, they have to increase the block size. That and the lower the fees because people are just going elsewhere. Well, it doesn't seem like they're going elsewhere. I mean, Bitcoin's still oh, the leader. At least, at least for using it. If you tried to use it to make a $16 uh, transaction, you know what your fee would be? $16. So the only, and, and I'm getting this from my man John Jameson again, but his, his point just to consider in this is that Bitcoin be, could become like the U.S. dollar of foreign exchange, as in it could sure. become how you move money to other cryptocurrencies. So okay. maybe it's not the store of value in buying goods like that because there's so many other even cryptocurrencies leaping it in terms of Ethereum for functionality. Right. But it might serve the purpose because you can't get in and out of U.S. dollars with, let's say, Verge or something, but you might be able to use right. Bitcoin to get in and out. Maybe it becomes that kind of go-between staple cryptocurrency. Just something to consider, Frank. You got a store of value. That's right. Store we'll see. We'll see oh what my. kind of value right, gets stored. Care, guys. Thanks, Frank. It's a brave Frank. new world, folks. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. Dow is uh, up six. NASDAQ is down 20. S&Ps are off a buck and a half. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com.
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So uh, we just had the uh, oil numbers come out, and you can see them right here. So top line inventories falling 6.5 million barrels, gas inventories rising 1.24 million barrels. Um, it's jumping around as we go down here. Let's see if we can scroll down and get all those headline numbers. Where are they? 34. There we go. So yeah, you have crude down about 6.5. Median estimate was only 3.1 million barrel draw. Yeah. Cushing was up 700,000. Pad 3 crude down 3.6 million. You had gasoline coming in at 1.2 surplus versus an estimate of 2.3 million surplus. Distillates coming in 769,000. Estimate was about 250,000. And uh, let's jump over to the Nadex platform and see how that crude oil, we got all Bitcoin everywhere. And look at that, as we speak, actually, 16,596. I mean, down to from put 17, just six 10 o'clock, there's 10 o'clock bar, we were at 17.2, just when we came on the air. Um, we're talking about 600 points in the span of 43 minutes. Pretty remarkable, but back to, let's get crude oil. Let's see where we're trading, 57.56 currently. I don't think, a too, nothing too dramatic. Yeah, a little bit of volatility, let's zoom it in there. So we're trading, there's that 10.30 bar, about 57.70 before the news, got a spike down below 57.50, kind of bouncing around, only about 14 pennies from where we were um, before that news. Right. So, which is kind of interesting, considering yeah. it was 3 million barrels off the estimate, right? Right, Yeah. right, right. Let's see what happens. And it looks like, you know, the the market itself, this is kind of interesting, because when, we, when we were up so dramatically, well, I don't know about dramatically, because we're such big numbers, right? But the Dow, the, well, the, no, the S&Ps were up 10 points, and now you're down four. Yeah. So they're selling the news, basically. Oh, definitely. The market just so keeps, yeah. ESH8. <clears throat> it was a lot of rhetoric about, you know, could, could the... The peak in the market be the moment they pass that tax bill, right? right exactly. And it's built in. Oh, right. And That's, it should be. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty remarkable. You get to kind of sell off this morning as they're literally hours away from 
you know, getting it signed. Celebrate. Yeah. No, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the market is so deviant, it's unbelievable. And it makes sense, you know. Everyone knows it's coming. Nobody should be waiting for it in terms of to get another right. boost if you're a real right. market player. So maybe it's built in. See what happens. No, there's, listen, there's no doubt because the, the, the fundamental numbers that Bloomberg had out there this morning was that these companies should be able to put about 17% into their numbers. So if we take a look at the S&P... Sorry, when you say 17% into their numbers, do you it, say... It they, make like, more money. More, yeah. Make 17% earnings. more yeah. earnings. Earnings, okay. which is a lot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be yeah. insane. So, but now what the question is, is that look at if we go... If you, if you, yeah. you know, we're take, up more than right. 17%. Right. You know, so it's like, okay, was that really baked in? Sure. And no one knows, of course. Do you know what I mean? Sure. You go back to... Do we even just go back to August. Yeah, so we're oh, up, yeah. we're up, what, 10%? You know, more than that. We're up 14% uh, since August, right? Yeah, about like 10%. 24, yeah. 32, so it'd be like 243 points from there, right? Which would take us literally yeah. about 26. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You know, that's that's going to be the big question, you know? And we're going to know pretty soon. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. Yeah. Um, we go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today. So Micron's the mover. That's up a buck. You get uh, Apple down a buck fourteen. Mm, nothing else is moving that dr dramatically, actually. Oh, GE. Let's go look at GE. GE. That poor poster child is done. Look, it's gonna go after its swing low. You get the high volume swing low laying out here at seventeen fifty. Well, yeah, actually, we'll it broke it this morning. Yeah. yeah. Let me pull this back and see if that's. This is. Wow. Okay, so that that 11.25 is going to be really dangerous. 11.25 is the highs of the lows of 2009, and it looks to me like it's going after it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. They have a long long way ahead of themselves, I think. They do. Man. Yeah. They they. Fortunately, I was just saying, fortunately for the shareholders, I think that um. The CEO is going to get some leeway to make that turnaround. Right. You right. Know, which right. is good, as yeah. in it's not, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, you know, you got to give him some leeway in terms of big hey, things changing. Right. Without right. the market freaking out over big things changing, but it just might be a slow trickle down until, you know, investors actually see proof that there is a turnaround. Right. Versus, you know, right. just cutting labor isn't going to turn the company around. No, um, because they need traction, right? Right. That's, they, you know, they, maybe, they got to be able to sell something that makes money. Definitely. You know. Although, if it keeps going down, there's got to be some value to that company at some point. You know, I mean, it's almost oh, getting well, to a point where, like you said, it's just so well, far. Well, when we take a look at it, the, the, yeah. the fundamental breakdown, it looks like the only place that it's actually grown is the Middle East, which is pretty wild. In the Middle East and Africa, 9%. Everything else is in a negative. Yeah. Hey, that's a big number, though, and they're growing on $18 yeah. billion of right. revenue. That's not like a tiny little blip of their, you know, that's one of the yeah. biggest portions outside of the U.S. Right. You're talking Europe's only $21 billion. So if they're growing at 10% in a market that's almost $20 billion, and they, you know, start cutting in the U.S. where they're down 8%. Right. Yeah. 295,000 employees. Can you imagine having 295,000 employees? How about how about just 29 employees? <laughs> right? No, totally. $150 billion company. Not bad. Yeah. Let's go over to Walmart and see what Walmart's doing. So this is it. This is the week, folks. Uh, hey, get your orders in. Yep. You only got so many days. Walmart's hanging at highs. Amazon hanging at highs. You know, FedEx blew, blew away the highs this morning with those numbers. Look at that, though. The Big pullback. Number. We're high at 253. We're off $5 off that high already. Yeah. And, and that's kind of the whole market. If you look at anything, there was a. Look at that move. Look at that move. Yeah. It's now, pretty... UPS. Let's go take a look at UPS. Yeah, I think they're about flat. We're maybe even down after the market. I pulled them up pre market. They were flat. Yeah, yeah. flat. So that's intriguing that yeah, UPS can't get. Well, they're still at highs, I guess, but. No, it is. You know, On a day like that. FedEx, definitely. Yeah. It doesn't quite translate. And no. we don't know the, the shipping international market, but yeah, it looks like the people who really do, it doesn't, Facebook comes out and, I mean, sorry, FedEx comes out and blows it away, that doesn't mean the UPS just jumps. You know, right. they're in different avenues, right. obviously, somehow. So, UPS does $68 billion, Okay. And, uh, you know, it looks like $48 billion in the U.S., 12 internationally. Okay, remember yep. 68, right? Yep. FTX. 60. 48 in the okay. U.S., 12 abroad. Okay. FedEx. 
Look at that. Pretty close. Not quite as centered into the U.S. They have the same revenue, yeah. 60, but wow. instead of 48 and 12, you're on 40 and 20. Yeah. And look and at the look growth, at though, the right? The growth internationally. Yeah. Yeah. And then even, you know, maybe FedEx Ground, they have 16% growth three years. That's quite a number. That's a big for number. For ground shipping. Yeah. Big number. Especially when everything needs now delivery versus ground is seems like a longer time it, it, there's no doubt but maybe I, that's something where it's just you're shipping closer everything might be closer maybe amazon you know you don't have to fly it maybe the products are closer where fedex ground is they must be man yeah. because i ordered stuff yesterday and the stuff's going to be there today and it's <laughs> like oh my god how does that work Do you know what i mean technology infrastructure i know delivery it, it's evidently laying right there well, yeah hey Amazon, same day delivery. Coming to a city near you. That's right, Amazon Magic. Amazon Magic. You gotta love it. Dow Industrials right now, folks, are trading down 17. You get the NASDAQ off 21. S&Ps are off two and a half. We have the gold contract up 420. Silver's up 11 cents. Come right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> So Dow right now uh, is down 18. You get the Nas. No, Dow's down six. Uh, Nasdaq's down 18. S and P's are off two. Uh, one of our tigers want to take a look at the CSX. So this 
train company here. This took a hit because their CEO passed away a couple days ago. And was quite a, you know, what's, what's intriguing is that these large companies, you think that they have everything together. And they wanted the CEO so bad that the guy wouldn't give him his medical records. Okay. But yet they still hired him. <laughs> yeah, just recently, like last yeah. March, I think, right? right. I mean, right. He's, from what I had read in the articles, too, yeah, just a railroad magnet, you know, right. Hunter Harrison, I believe his right. name was, yeah. Um, and bottom line is that, uh, you know, unfortunately he passed away. Yeah. Uh, but as to uh, technically, yeah, the stock looks good. I mean, the stock's over 55 bucks, 177 million. You're pushing into that with 161 already. On a monthly basis, that's saying that, let's see, how many more days we got left? Yeah, we have plenty of days left, meaning, yeah, it did 9 million shares yesterday, so. Yeah, we actually did count it out. We're going to have four days next week. Okay. And we got two left this week. That's six days. Yeah. So that's 25 percent, six days. Yeah, yeah. Then there's 21 yeah, average about, days, trading yeah. days. So that's, that's saying that you're going to get the volume inside of that uh, CSX uh, bottom line going forward. The um, coming up next, folks, uh, we got um, uh, swim lessons. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Bitcoin one time because uh, <laughs> there's no doubt that that. And what what you, you, what you definitely want to wrap your head around here is uh, sixteen four. I'll tell you, I'm just going to jump over yeah. here real quick because I wanted to see. Do we still have it? There it is. I mean, it's been quite a cascade. Yeah. Watch it's out. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're at 17.8. We're at 16.5. Huge. It's only Wednesday. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming up next. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.